Hi, Stephen. Uh, thank you for, for agreeing to, to the interview. Um, wanted to quickly run through Telcom's just announced Uncapped, and, uh, and it's uh, been a long time coming, if I may say so. Um, so maybe let's begin with why now. Okay, I think again, why now is um, it's not always best to be first in the market. It can be an advantage, and maybe sometimes it cannot be an advantage. Um, we believe in this case at Telcom uh, it was an advantage not to be first. If we looked at the overseas uh, experience in the mobile operators, for example, in Europe, uh, some of them had to renege on that. Uh, uh, the uncapped uh, service was a profitability issues. We've seen uh, a reseller locally also having to renege on the uh, uncapped offering because of profitability issues, we believe. And Telcom did not want to be in that position. Um, up until fairly recently, we believed that we, we provided a fair uh, uh, quality of service with our capped services and fit for purpose to our customers because we saw uh, the, you know, we monitor the data usage and the data patterns and behavioral patterns and we believe that up until very recently it was adequate and, and well positioned and well priced. However, that changed recently with recent market research, uh, data usage trials that we gave uh, additional free promotional bandwidth. We saw customers take the opportunity and use it. Um, uh, many factors. Bandwidth has become cheaper. Uh, network management tools have become more sophisticated, more elegant, uh, allowing for more things to be done. Uh, um, uh, better uh, network rules can be applied to look after networks and prior appropriate experience to everybody on the network and not allow someone to ruin it for other customers, etc., etc. So, a number of things. It's a whole accumulation um, amounting to the timing, but I think more importantly, we believe the time was right and that customers do now uh, require an uncapped service. So let's, let's talk a bit about the restrictions on the service that, that the network management needs to do. Um, one of the things that, that wasn't mentioned uh, explicitly, I think, mm. in the press briefing is shaping policies. Mm. Um, will these accounts be shaped or unshaped given uh, the other factors? Yeah. Important to note that these are shaped uh, accounts, um, I think typical with an unsha with a, with a uncapped service. Right. What's uh, they prioritized? Are what traffic is prioritized? Uh, the t normal rules apply when it comes to prioritizing HTTP, FTP, etc. And, and, and obviously when it comes to peer-to-peer, -peer, um, you know, that will be shaped as and when the network requires it to be shaped. Of course, we want to see that experience to a customer and we will hopefully provide it well uh, when the network is capable of providing it. Mm. And mm. You've un you're unveiling this at a gaming expo. Uh, can gamers expect to, to have have priority on their traffic? Um, yes, um, we are using the opportunity to launch an uncapped service. We think it's an appropriate uh, launch pad using Rage as a, uh, as a launch opportunity. Um, a lot of gaming uh, bandwidth will obviously be local. Um, uh, accessing local service so uh, and even the you might have noticed in your press release that there is some throttling of bandwidth during the daytime for the consumer services and of course that won't apply uh, on local bandwidth so we believe it will be suitable for gamers and we hope to see that and we hope to learn from it and if necessary tweak it mm -hmm. great um, so one th one question that that uh, we have received is uh, you've got now a mobile arm and uh, and a, a wireline arm uh, Will we be seeing packages in future where you've got, you know, a, a set, you know, you buy a service and then you can use, you can use that, you know, money on uh, ATA and on Telcom? Um, not yet to represent the ATA colleagues, um, but I will say that we have seen uh, Telcom has introduced our Telcom Mix product, which has been uh, um, mobile and data minutes with a, a BlackBerry, for example. Mm -hmm. So some sort of converged services and bundles that, that we provide at the moment. But I think uh, without getting into specifics, uh, and I'd obviously refer to my ATA colleagues, but obviously it is the aspiration for us to be a converged services provider. So I think um, from that you could take that, that yes, we would want to be provide uh, in the near future convert services to the benefit of our customers, mm. but I think I would rather leave it to our ATA colleagues to comment more on that, um, sure. if you don't mind. No problem. Um, one last thing is that um, the, the, the other players in the market are offering four megabit per second accounts. Uh, you currently have three levels, of, from what I can see, three tiers of accounts. You've got 384, uh, one meg per second, and up to 10 megs a second, with the jump between one meg a second and 10 meg mm. a second being you know, a lot of, I mean, uh, so for, for those uh, who haven't maybe seen the previous video, um, the jump is from 658 Rand for the line and the account to 2,510 Rand for the line and the account. Um, uh, why is that and will you mm. be introducing something to bridge that gap? Yes, um, just to say it is a 4 slash 10 meg uh, uh, service where we have uh, DSL 2 plus available is up to 10, where, where, where it's DSL 1 uh, it's up to 4. Um, we are uh, 
looking at uh, intermediary services. They're just not quite ready yet. We haven't quite polished them yet. We will uh, bring them to market as soon as possible. Um, and again, you know, we don't believe in over-contending a service. If a customer is paying for a 4 meg service, you want them to receive a 4 meg experience over the internet with a bandwidth portion of the product. Um, we don't believe it's right to over-contend and throttle back on the bandwidth that a customer cannot leverage the, the power and the prowess of a 4 meg access product. Hence, uh, uh, we are more expensive, but we believe it's, it's a well-balanced, uh, uh, we struck the balance between the input cost price and then what the customer will experience. Um, and if we see that, that the experience is uh, such a nature that we can decrease the price by using more elegant you know, network uh, uh, algorithm tools, etc., then we will do that and pass it on to the consumer for def definitely. We hope to learn. Mm. Great. Thank you very much for your time. Much appreciated. Thank you for coming. Thanks.